In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the creative filter on a reverb bus to alter the sound of your reverb channel. Once again, we have the Pearl default kit with a 20 inch bass drum and I have some MIDI that I pulled in from our Superior Drummer 3 core MIDI library. All of our instruments and ambient channels are routed for us in this preset, so I'm going to select them all and create a bus send for a reverb channel. I will add a plate reverb to the reverb channel. We'll set the reverb time to 1.5 seconds, the size to 40, and because this is a reverb channel, we'll set the mix to 100%. And in order to solo the reverb channel, I'll set all of these to pre-fader post effects. So obviously we'll want to mix that in with our full mix. And I'll exaggerate it a bit for this example. Now we could go into the plate reverb and adjust some of the settings here to adjust the size, shape, diffusion, and color. But instead, I'm going to add a creative filter right beneath it. And this way we can actually adjust the frequencies of our reverb channel. We can do a low pass or a high pass or a band pass and choose what frequencies we want that plate reverb applied to. So you can see this is a very quick way that you can adjust the sound of your plate reverb or any reverb within a reverb channel using the Creative Filter plugin. We even have some additional modulation options at the top of the Creative Filter. So we can grab a low frequency oscillator, envelope, a variety of sequences, and we can do a synced LFO and a synced sequence. So that'll be synced to the tempo of your song. So I'll give you just a couple examples. This is just another way to change the sound of your reverb. Now some of those may be a bit extreme, but when you blend that in with the full mix, you can get some creative and musical results.
So next time you use a reverb bus, try adding the creative filter below your reverb effect and try different cutoff frequencies and modulation settings to change the sound of your reverb channel.